Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. Now today we are going to be getting into The Union. This is a King in Black tie-in. I've actually missed this one. I think it came out last week or the week prior and I'm just now realizing that and so we're going to just now dive into this. Now this one's actually kind of important because it introduces a bunch of new characters to the Marvel landscape. Now what's really interesting about these characters is they were actually supposed to be introduced during the Marvel Empire event. But because of COVID and everything getting pushed back, this issue has actually been redesigned specifically for the King in Black event. So without further ado, let's dive into this issue. Now this issue picks us up with what looks to seem like a little cartoon of Britannia and a, a crocodile by the name of Doc Croc. And it's just Britannia taking him on and winning this fight. And so with Great Britain seeing a lot of changes in recent months, you know, people losing faith in their leaders and, and their own fellow countrymen, most seriously though in their nation. And they wanted a new vision for themselves. And so Great Britain has some new heroes. And these heroes are Britannia, Kelpie, Snakes, and the Choir. And this team is led by no other than Union Jack. Now, Union Jack has played a, a few parts in some comics recently, but I'm not too familiar with his lines or what he's been most involved in. But what we see here is Captain Jack rescuing a soldier. And it seems they're doing a training scenario where they're pretty much playing a game of flag, capture the flag. And it, he's really just making his way through this, huffing it through. And while all this is happening, we're finding out, you know, he, he's worn this flag as Union Jack for four years. But it feels like 40 sometimes. And at times, he feels like nothing can stop him. Except for maybe Britannia. Now, this team is referred to as the Britannia Project. And that's pretty much the all of the country voting in on what the, the team name should be. And after the event has ended, they have cameras all over them. And they're expecting to talk to Britannia, but Union Jack's the one to talk. And it's really just all publicity. Now, while Britannia is arguing with uh, Darwin himself, you know, the guy who funds all of this and so on and so forth, about, you know, her not wanting logos, not making wanting this to, to be some kind of ridiculous spectacle, some of the crew and these, you know, soldier people are trying to mess with the team, with Snakes, with Kelpie, and with the choir. And so these guys show us just a little bit of what they have. Now, I misquoted earlier, Britannia is actually the leader and represents UK superhero team. Now, Kelpie, she represents Scotland, and she has the power to control the ocean or water, anything of that nature that, that's fluid, you would assume. The choir represents Wales, and Snakes represents Northern Ireland. And with Union Jack being the last representing England itself. And so we, we see a little bit of their, their powers here. We see the choir using her powers on these soldiers ears. We see Kelpie turning water into ice daggers. And Snakes is just standing there as a, a tower behemoth of an individual. And while this is all going on, Union Jack runs over, tries to separate them up, like, hey, break it up kind of thing. And this is when, you know, everybody goes their separate ways and Darwin gets a selfie with him. And it's really seeming like this Darwin guy is just like a, a, a tool douchebag guy who's just out for the money and trying to turn this superhero team into anything profitable for himself. But while this is all going on, they see something up in the sky. Something flying, slowly starting to blot out the sun. And it gets closer and closer and closer. And it's a giant symbiote dragon. And this is when Britannia grabs her sword and shield and lunges at the monster, driving her sword through its neck. In the process of decapitating this ridiculously ugly monster, she's hit right through the chest by its tail. And it impales right through her heart. And they both fall from the sky. Union Jack rushes over and holds her in his arms. And really, we're seeing the life go out of her. Or at least it seems to be. And just like that, the leader of this team is gone. New character introduced, new character taken out. Now, she could possibly come back somehow. Who knows? But as it stands, Britannia, the leader of the Britannia Project, is dead. And Union Jack looks over his, his shoulder 
and sees all of these soldiers now looking like a, a symbiote venom army. And so Union Jack picks up Britannia's sword and what's left of the team makes their stand. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, this issue was very interesting. We got introduced to a bunch of new characters. It's not too often that we get the, the, the international teams. But when there's a global catastrophe or intergalactic event or threat happening that usually involves the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, any of them... We usually see the international community, maybe for a, a issue or two, but it's it's looking like we might actually get a good amount here, which is really freaking exciting. This one is supposed to be five issues long, and I'm hoping after that they continue on with this line because I really do like this team up. You know, it's taking Great Britain and each of its individual states, if you will, is getting its own superhero. So, you know, like Snakes is Northern Ireland, etc., etc., you know, it's really unique and it's taking the unique parts that make up Great Britain and bringing them all together, trying to unify something here, to unify this nation. Hence, we get our name, The Union. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Out of The Union, out of this team, who do you think is your favorite character moving forward? Who do you think you're going to like the best? Honestly, Snakes is looking really promising. They're not really talking about his powers or if he even has any at this point but i'm really excited to see what he is capable of if it's something maybe just as simple as super strength or maybe it's something even more but yeah so let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have not yet please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and until the next video